Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Chromatos. You guys missed out on the last episode, we went on a... I don't know if I'd call it a date, but we went on a little date with Quentin here. We also found her phone and discovered a little bit about her past. But I think I'm going to hop over back over to P. I think I'm just going to bounce back and forth or, forth, or at least see if um, I can... Uh, who's him or what's it? At least continue her storyline for now. So I think I'm going to have to bounce back and forth, it seems. Or I'm going to be yeeted somewhere else again. Da, da, da. The elevator's moving on its own. I didn't press the button yet. Yep. Back into the weight floor. Yep. Ah, oh, I'm so cold. Do I get to talk to... The brother this time? I do. Ah, this looks friendly. Ah, hi there. You kind of look like me, but edgier. Another person. Looks like a guy for once. Now that I think about it, I'm not nothing but women so far. I hope he's chill. I need a freaking break. Everyone here is so high key. <laughs> Eyes glow. Hmm. For a split second there, I swear I felt murderous intent. Are there more of those monsters around? Leroy. Oh, wait, let me... Leroy. Uh, I don't know what the voice I want to do for this. Leroy. You're really here, Leroy. So nice of you to stop by. That's really you, isn't it? Oh, great. Another person who knows me, even though I don't even know them. Wait, do I know him? Hmm. I just don't know. Uh, sorry, man. I'm having a bit of amnesia going on. I don't know who you are. You're so cold. I'm getting chills, Leroy. I have no idea what to think of this guy. Yikes. Mind jogging my memory? Of course, of course. I'm Isaac. Actually, I think I like this voice for him. I'm Isaac. And... He's just, stop. Not gonna tell me anything else? Hey, Isaac, I'm, well, Leroy. You already knew that, though, so. <laughs> nice to re-meet you. Re-meet? What brings you to my humble abode? Okay, that's it. This guy's fucking weird. So much for my hopes of meeting a normal dude. That's, uh, a way of putting it. It's no palace for sure. My apologies. I need to end this conversation as quickly as possible. I'll cut to the chase. I don't know if you know this, but there's a way out of here. Is there now? Do tell, do tell. Yeah. There's an ambulance outside on the ground floor. If you get out, you wake up and escape this place. Isn't that convenient? Thanks for the information. That didn't even budge. No reaction whatsoever. Could this guy be... You don't... You don't seem surprised. What do you mean? I'm positively uh, elated. You look troubled. Poor thing. What's wrong? Oh wait, wrong voice. You look troubled. Poor, poor thing. What's wrong? I'll take a guess. You don't understand why I don't care about the escape. White marks never wake up. You don't care because you, because you can't leave. You're a white mark too. Two. So you've met my older sister, eh? So I was right. Isaac is Lilith's brother. Well, she did try to warn me about him. I hope you didn't tell. Uh, didn't try telling her about your big escape plan too. I promised Lilith I'd help her. I'm gonna find a way to help you too. That's a pity, really. You're a medical professional. You ought to know that you can't save everyone. How can you smile with saying that? Don't you care about your own sister's life? What would you have me do, Leroy? It's just an ugly truth that the three of us will never wake up. Wait. What's that supposed to mean? There's no need to frown, Leroy. Your face will freeze that way. Hold on. They said that I could choose to wake up whenever I want to. Because I'm a black mark. That may be true. But just because you can make a decision 
doesn't mean you'll have a choice when the time comes. Oh yeah? Then what's stopping me from waking up the second that the ambulance arrives? The moment you leave this world, everyone left in it will be sentenced to death. That's bullshit. No way. You don't believe me. Why should I believe you? That's... I'm gonna tell you the truth. Not what you were... Not what you were told. By who, I wonder? From an amnesiac, you seem awfully sure of yourself. I... Not sure what to think. My gut tells me that he's full of it, but what if he's not? He's never mentioned anything about this. There's no way she'd be okay with sacrificing everyone to save ourselves. Right? Believe me or don't. Makes no difference, really. We're just going to die here. What's one or two, or even nine people in the scheme of things? Nine people? Are you saying that there are nine people total in here? What does it matter? I just said. This isn't a fucking joke. If you know something, tell me. How can I, if you're tell- How can I, if you're telling me the truth? How can I leave now? His whole body is limp. Not just because he isn't resisting. You're- Oh yeah. Minor detail. Kind of hard to walk out of here when you can't walk. Whoops. Damn it. Get it now? I'm a lost cause. You'd better hurry back to the others. Cut the shit for one second, Isaac. I can see why you feel hopeless and I'm sorry. Lilith said something similar that she wanted me to leave her behind and save everyone else. Do you really want that? That there's no point? That there's no part of you that wants to live? Why ask me that? Doesn't matter what I want. Just answer the question, man. You know, for an EMT, you're remarkably terrible at triage. You're terrible at triage. You want the truth? I'm not ready to die. Not until I do one last thing. How about you, Leroy? Are you ready to die? Nobody would blame you if we're running away. I can't shake the feeling that I'm being tricked. I just don't know what, don't know how or why. Who can I trust? What do I do now? I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. There's no way to tell. I'm in a chokehold here. I can't make a decision in good conscience until I can sort of the truth from the lies. Regardless, there's one thing that I know for sure. Running away isn't an option. I can't risk killing all these people to save my own skin. All I have to do is get everyone out before time's up, right? That saves everyone. If you think you can. I'll figure a way. I will. I've gotten this far. How brave. I almost believe you. You better. After I find everyone else, I'm coming back for you too. Now, why would you do a silly thing like that? Because it's not my right to decide who lives or dies. So I'm rescuing every soul in here. That includes you. I'll carry you out myself if I have to. That's French. I'm sorry? What? Aramasu. He who ch uh, chases two rabbits will catch neither one. Alright. Now you're losing me. Don't you worry about it. You've made up your mind, haven't you? No point staying here with me any longer. Wait. Hmm? There's still something I'm sur curious about. Happy to be of service. Ask away. Ask away. You. Knew me, didn't you? For all this. Can you always tell me something? What was I like? About as insufferable as you are now. Just with a little more fear of dying. Otherwise, you haven't changed one bit. What's around here is bad news. You remember everything, right? Do you know what happened to me? Do you know how I... Oh, would you listen to that? The clock strikes 15. It's time. I had to give up on this, but he's right. If the clock chimes and time has passed, we need to check in with Izzy. Fine. I'm going. I mean what I said, though. Don't worry. I won't go anywhere. Smug fuck. I really hope Isaac's not telling the truth. If he is, then Izzy 
Maybe they're both telling the truth. Maybe Izzy didn't know what would happen if I left. I have to believe that. I better heard of Izzy. Ah, oh, fuck, more music, amazing music. Oh, the ambulance is here. But I've yet to save anyone. Well, damn, Izzy. Well, damn, Izzy was telling the truth about the ambulance anyways. Leroy! You came! You finally came! Sorry to keep you waiting. She's soaked to the bone. I'm going to listen to the music for a second. Fuck, this is... Fuck, the choreography in this game has been amazing. Like, the music choreography has been amazing. Alright. She's soaked to the bone. She really did wait to say for the whole time. Maybe I was wrong to just distrust her i was starting to get scared you know really scared you know you don't have time to waste right were you listening to me it wasn't that i just needed to get some answers in the end though the more confused than i started out Lilith and isaac's words are lingering in my head i just can't make them go away I still don't understand but oh i'm just glad you came back don't worry about it don't worry about it i forgive you for leaving me here Water under the bridge, okay? Yeah. Thanks. The ambulance is waiting for us. Come on. Am I sure about this? What will really happen when I get out get on that ambulance? Is leaving now truly the right thing to do? Quinn and Prima Donna. I've only just met them, but I Damn it! Will it be okay after I'm gone? Am I stupid for even caring? And what about the others that I haven't met yet? What's wrong, Leroy? I've been sitting here forever. I want to go home. With you. I don't want us both to get out of this scary place already. There's one thing I have to know. I can't leave without doing it. I... I'll never forgive myself if I don't ask her here. Izzy? Hmm? Please hurry. I don't want to keep the ambulance waiting. Sorry. I'm gonna ask you something. Is that alright? Yep. Of course. Just make it fast, okay? Well, the soldier should come out with it then. How come you didn't mention that everyone else is going to die? No, it's not good. Try again, Leroy. It's true that we're leaving everyone from for dead? It's so wrong. I... I heard from someone that if I leave, everyone else left in this world will die. Oh? Is that true? Did you know about that? Of course I didn't know about that. Because it's not true. Silly. I would never let a bunch of people die. I know you wouldn't either. Even if it meant we might die too? If it were true... You would help me save them, right? Uh, I knew it. I knew this would happen. I knew that boy would fill your head with these his lies. Wait a sec. I didn't specifically mention it was Isaac that told me. That's when I was starting to believe Izzy. She says something to put me on edge again. What do you mean, that boy? Pretty sure I didn't see who it was. Hi. I know who you're talking about. I haven't met him, but he's a white mark, isn't he? I told you that white marks were dangerous. From a logical perspective, I don't really have any evidence to contradict her statement. Why didn't you just trust me? All they want is someone to share in their misery. I'm trying to save you, Leroy. So you aren't hiding anything from me, promise? I promise. I promise. Now can we please get on the ambulance and go home? One more question. Just one more. I'll answer whatever you want. I told you, Leroy. I'm on your side. The ambulance won't come back for another hour, right? Yep. Which is why we really, really need to leave. Life is a stake here, remember? What about yours? What about mine? I've been waiting to leave since we got here, dummy. It's just that... You kept talking about my life and me leaving, but you didn't... Don't seem too concerned about what happened to you. That's because I... Tell me the truth. But I decided I wasn't going to get on that ambulance. Even when time was up. What would you do then? can't be serious. I'm not saying I won't. Just a hypothetical. I... If you're sure you to come, I... Don't do that to me, Lyra. I don't... 
I don't want to be alone. And you'd never return to the real world, you know? You'd never wake up. That's just too sad. Why would you even do something like that? She has a point. What would I even stand to gain by staying? Even if Isaac's not lying, what if I run out of time before I find everyone? The ambulance comes at the top of every hour, right? And there's plenty more ambulances coming. But I still have a little more time. I could... No! What if the monsters attack you? Or if you get lost? You can miss all of them. And if that... And they've already gotten you to doubt me. Can't imagine what they'd do if you just... They'd do to you in just another hour. She's right again. I know she's right, but... That's it. We're getting on that ambulance right now. No buts. You can be mad at me later once you're awake in the real world. Izzy grabs my arm and starts pulling me along. But I refuse to move. Why are you doing this? They're lying to you, Leroy. Do you really trust some some kid you've never met over me? I... You said we've met before, actually. But I can't remember anything, you know, that... Do you want to die? Wow. That was harsh. Is that what it is? this is? Do you have some kind of death wish? Unless you hate me. Do you hate me, Leroy? Of course not. Well... I won't let you die, no matter what. We gotta go. Now. Pretty, please? Not for you. For me? I feel paralyzed. It's like my whole body is turning to stone. I can't move. I can't think. Time might as well be stopped. Three different people, three different truths. If he wants me to leave, Lilith told me not to listen to Isaac because he'd tell me the truth. And, I, and according to Isaac, everyone will die once I leave. Why didn't Lilith want me to listen to him if he's telling the truth? If he's telling the truth, then Izzy's lying. If Izzy's being honest, then Isaac's the liar. If Isaac's the liar, then Lilith is too. There's no other way. Someone, somehow, at least one of them, someone's lying to me. How the fuck am I supposed to figure it out? Would Izzy, a doctor, sacrifice so many people so that I could survive? What kind of alter motive could Isaac have for lying? Why do you want... Why would he want to make me stay? Why would Lilith not mention that she'd die if I chose to wake up? I don't have enough evidence to solve this puzzle. I just don't. Right now, all I can do is go with my gut. No time left. I can get on the ambulance now, and go back to wherever life I used to have. If I do that, then people here might die. Or they might not. Would I be able to forgive myself for leaving everyone I've met behind? Alternatively, I can spend another few hours trying to solve this mystery without getting blood on my hands. But if I fuck up, or if this is a trap, I'll be the one who dies for sure. Am I really prepared to stake my life on something I don't, on something I don't even know that is true? Fuck. You got an important decision to make. I wish I could give you advice, but I can't interfere with the course of your destiny. Decision is yours and yours alone. Think very carefully about what you you've seen so far. What's it going to be, little one? Saying trust oh I guess Lilith told that Isaac was telling the truth. Lilith didn't want me to know the truth. She deliberately told me not to talk to Isaac. But I don't think Isaac told me the full truth. I think there's more to it that I'm not being told. Right? But I do. I'm the only in black mark. I also, I don't know, the idea that the ambulance. <sighs> there's so many questions. But I can't. I haven't trust Izzy this entire playthrough. And I still don't. I don't trust. I trust Lilith the most. Out of all three of these people, I trust Lilith the most. <sighs> Fuck. Nah. Ignoring even. Plank. <sighs> that is the end of the game, but still. Fuck. Even just going off the information, even the risk that me leaving would kill all those people, I just couldn't do. 
I couldn't justifiably leave all those people. It seems like there's two more demos. So I'll probably play those in the next episode if they work. And if they don't, that is the end of the series. But overall, I'm going to call this the end of the series. Just the main game, I should say. The main demo. Thank you all so much for watching. This was a phenomenal game. I've loved thoroughly every second of it. I'm going to leave down the link in the description to their Kickstarter. They also have a Steam page, so go like put this game, wish, uh, put this on your like want list, whatever it's called, your uh, your wish list. Go give the developers lots of love, because holy fuck, is this game phenomenal. Play this game for yourself. Maybe there's some things I missed. So go check this game out for yourself. Go give the developers lots of love. If you guys did enjoy this playthrough and the entire series in total, leave down in the description maybe your favorite character, maybe your favorite moment. And overall, just leave down like another game you'd like me to play. Something maybe similar to this or just another horror game in general. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you guys did enjoy this, check out some other content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.